do not fear you, Mother. This device is nothing more than an empty threat. You do not have the heart to dampen me, your favorite son. In fact, I challenge you. I beg of you to prove your worth. I don't believe it. Hey you guys, welcome back to Under the Big Mango Tree. I'm Theo, nice to have you back. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I animated my latest YouTube short. It's called Mother's Betrayal. Um, so the way I normally start all my shorts, and I explained it in my last video, is that I find most of my ideas from TikTok, either trending sounds, skits, whatever the sorts. So this one, this sound was trending on TikTok and people were doing it with cats, like their real life cats, or they were drawing cats and decided that I was going to do the same thing. So I made the simplest cat possible that I could animate with no load of kudja, no load of extraness, just a simple cat. and. A simple background he was on top of a fridge a family fridge and his owner was trying to get him down off of the fridge because we don't do those kinds of things in our house you understand me we don't walk upon the fridge or the, the um, tables and stuff like that this is not the kind of house we do them kind of things in so she was just trying to get him down and then he went on his whole rhetoric and spiel about she will never dare spray water at him because he is king, I guess. <laughs> you see me? So when I have something so clear like this, I tend to not do a storyboard because it is straightforward. I already knew what the cat was going to do. It wasn't a lot of moving up and down. He was just looking down on his owner and watching her. It's a very limited animation. It's mostly just lip sync. So a storyboard was not needed. It was enough references there from other videos for me to like feed off of to get the gist of what I wanted to do for my video. I feel like as I do my little shorts, I'm getting better at drawing backgrounds. I used to hate drawing backgrounds, but now I feel very confident in my background skills. Yeah. As we watch on the speed paint, I just wanted to like apologize on like the scarcities of videos because it takes a while to edit and film these videos, especially when I go to school. I go to school full time and I also work part time, but do full time hours. So it's kind of hard to get videos out. That's why you see me putting up a lot of shorts. It's so that I could get animating in and not be overwhelmed with like a three minute animation. So I have Clip Studio Paint on my iPad and you can do a lot of the stuff that you do on the computer on the iPad. So I did most of my roughs on the, on my tablet and eventually I had to move over because I recognize as I, added more and more stuff like as when I got to painting this the iPad would start crashing so know your limits when you're using on your iPad or maybe maybe the storage and the stuff that I have on my iPad is just taking up all the space on it so depending on what your iPad can handle too many layers and complicate com complexities could cause your iPad to crash but yeah I did most of the rough and I got all almost all the way to finishing the coloring on this on my iPad but eventually I had to move over to my computer because there were too many instances where I could have lost this whole thing and just chuck my iPad out the window like I was this close to losing my <laughs> losing my cool so when it comes to animating, I like to um, focus on the thing that is the easiest. So the easiest thing there was the hand and the little water gun. It was basically a couple of frames that I drew, the, I think I drew the hand once and then slightly moved it into frame every couple of frames or so. So it wasn't that difficult to do. The cat on the other hand, I 
had a hard time keeping it symmetrical especially the eyes especially when he started to tilt his head and stuff like that but um, overall I think I got down the expressions really well which is what I wanted to work on if uh, you saw my penny proud uh, video I'm gonna put it in here but if you saw my pretty my petty proud video I'm not gonna turn down the music for this one because it's copyrighted and I don't want this to get copyrighted so yes if you saw this video her eyebrows are jumping up all over the place and her expression is just wild so with this one I really wanted to focus on smooth transitions into this cat's um, expressions and I think I did a very gr great job with this I would like to say that <laughs> I feel like with the help of TikTok, I have been able to come up with a lot more shorts and animations to like add to my portfolio. And with each and every animation, I think I'm getting better and better at it. So by the time I'm finished with school, I think I'll have a good portfolio to show to like recruiters, animation houses, and hopefully I'll find a job that pays well. God, please <laughs> but yeah I think that if you're interested in animation try doing these little shorts on YouTube Instagram TikTok. find a video that is super short and try to animate it these is great ways to get yourself wet in doing these kinds of stuff because if you dive into the animation world on TikTok, a lot of these people are not the best drawers, they're not the best animators, but you can see them improve as they go on in doing these stuff. And some of them do this full time. So they might have started out with their animations looking very, very sloppy, but now they have reached a point where they get they have some very smooth animations so they have stuff from puppet animations to live action animation stop motion um 3d so if you're interested in these things like dip yourself in it you don't need the best equipment the best um stuff there you could have a pen and pencil pen paper pencil whatever it is and just post your stuff up i remember they had this dude who did paper animations where he just drew all of the scenes out and yeah it might be a little bit tedious but he didn't need a lot of extraness to get his following or to get his great animations he already had them but yeah i just wanted to give a little rant With this, I had to do a couple of tests to see which looked better. Um, the purple and the red wasn't coming out the way I liked it, so I had to blend it a couple of times to get the color that I needed to for the cat to look menacing, I guess. That's why you will see the video like pop up because I'm just reviewing to make sure that everything looks right. And also, Clip Studio Paint has this amazing feature that is called the two, um, 2D camera, where you see that zoom in effect I got at the end. It's when you add that folder into, to, into Clip Studio Paint, it's going to be a folder. Whatever you put into that folder is what is affected by the camera. I'm zooming right here. As you can see here, I have a couple of 
animation folders are already inside the camera folder and only those will be affected by the zoom and as i was doing my test i recognized that they were the only ones being affected by the zoom and i needed everything to zoom in so later on what i did was put all my folders except for the rough folders inside of the camera folder so that the background the tail the head everything would zoom in when at the end when the cat intensifies its threats So I did my compositing in Adobe Rush, the phone app. I think it works amazing. Um, for some reason my phone was acting up this time, but it was very easy to find my little sounds off of YouTube and kind of like compose the beginning of the sound. I had to look up sounds of cans falling and cats meow meowing and I just had to tailor it just right so that uh, so that it fits well with the beginning of this uh, little story Do not fear you, mother. This device is nothing more than an empty threat. You do not have the heart to dampen me, your favorite son. In fact, I challenge you. I beg of you to prove your worth. I don't believe it. If you've made it this far, this is the end of the video, I'd like to say thank you. If you like these kind of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Please tell your mother, your sister, your uncle, your father, your cousin, the dog, don't do what. Whoever you can tell, I would appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.